right, this is a tutorial on how to set up the Yamaha StagePass 600i portable PA system. You've got your two speakers right here. Uh, they each store a little something in the back of them. On this side, you'll see there's a very handy little chart. It shows you exactly how you want to connect different types of instruments uh, to your mixer. And that shows you that right there. Right up here is a little button, and you press that down, and inside is a box with instructions, and you've got a power cable for your mixer. You also have these fairly cheap quarter-inch cables. I use them as a backup, um, but I am using a bit stronger quarter-inch cables for my purposes. And then on the other speaker here, we actually have the mixer that is stored as part of it. So there is a little gray button here. You just want to slide that and it will release the mixer itself. Now I'm just going to set this up, spin these around, and we'll get this thing going. Okay, so this is our actual mixer. You can put it on its side, but for our purposes today, I'm going to put it on its back. You can do it either way. I've already connected my cables to the speakers right in the back. So here is where you're going to input your left speaker and your right speaker. These are quarter inch cables. And I'm today just running from a laptop with a RCA cable. So that's going to go into line seven and eight. And I've already got my plug into my power source. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in right here. So you'll notice everything is turned all the way down. Nothing is up right now. And so now I'm going to hit the power button right here. And you're going to see an LED light. Things are moving here. So we've got power. We're ready to go. I can hear the fan going. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And so now, this is my master right here. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. And... So we've got music. And that is working. Now, take a look at these other channels up here. Obviously, you can use XLR cords in here, as well as quarter inch in these two. These can go with quarter inch. If you've got just a straight line in from, say, uh, a phone, or just a straight line from a laptop, you can put that there in 9 and 10. You want to run a monitor, you can run that right out of here. Subwoofer, there you go. You can run out your extra reverb if you want. Um, can't really do reverb on this channel here but let's say we had a microphone in and we wanted to use reverb here's our reverb control so we've got a couple different settings hall plate room and echo if I want to put reverb on I basically put that down set it up the way I want so let's say I wanted it on hall and let's say I had a microphone out of channel one I would just gradually turn up the reverb there and that would work, and I'd get reverb out of it. Um, you've got equalizers on every channel, so you can really pump the bass if you wanted to. Take out the mids. Very self-explanatory stuff. Uh, if you wanted it to be in stereo, leave it up. If you want a mono signal, put it down. If you're using a microphone and you're having some issues with feedback, you've got a feedback suppressor, which will help. You press that down when it's lit, you're good to go. Uh, and that is basically how this works.